Hi and welcome to this Tin Kiosk 4.0 demo. Um, my name is Andrew Morgan and today I'm going to show you how to integrate Citrix Zen desktop technologies into Tin Kiosk to turn your current PCs into VDI ready Tin clients in a matter of minutes. Um, taking up from yesterday, if you haven't seen the video, it's in the comments below. We're going to take our already deployed Think kiosk device which it has been set up to run VMware view and we're gonna go ahead and change it to Citrix technologies and um, this demo is really to show how quickly and how agile you can change your mind on how you deploy these things and how easily Think kiosk does integrate with the Citrix stack so jumping back to the management console again uh, we're gonna need to create a new folder and this time we're gonna call the folder browser based um, Think kiosk uh, when it comes to Citrix technologies uh, leverages the browser because the storefront technologies and web interfaces are so strong. Um, once we created our folder, we're gonna go ahead and create our new profile. And again, we'll call it browser. And we'll click OK. We'll go ahead and modify this profile now and configure it for Citrix technologies. So again, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set the company name. We're gonna leave the theme gray this time so you can see it change. Um, because this is the browser session, uh, we're going to go ahead and hide the ribbon at the top to maximize the landscape that the browser has to use. And we're going to go ahead and show only the browser tab because we don't want to show the applications this time. Under the appearance on the browser tab, we're going to go ahead and start add layering in our URLs. So the first URL we're going to add is we're going to add storefront. Um, storefront being storefront 2.0, Citrix, the, 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 the uh, storefront for Zen Desktop 7, Citrix's latest incarnation. Uh, paste in the URL and I can go ahead and add it to the trusted websites into Think Kiosk natively. This will save you an awful lot of trouble in the long run when it comes to client plugins. Um, as Storefront 2.0 is still quite new, I mean, most of us are still going to have a backup URL for web interface. So um, let's go ahead and uh, add a second URL that the users can choose in the event eventuality that Storefront is offline. Again, we're going to add it to the trusted sites. And that's that. Um, in the startup script tab, last time we did, we configured it to deploy the VM review agent. That's obviously not going to help us much with Citrix technologies. So again, a uh, script I've prepared earlier and I will make available. We have the option here to install Citrix Receiver 4.0. Uh, in the video integration options, there are a couple of options we have here. For argument's sake, log out of web interface when a session is launched. Uh, this is a security feature that when, as soon as a user does launch a desktop from a Citrix technology web page, it will think he will automatically log the user out, which means session hijack is not an option as the user has immediately been logged out of the web interface as soon as they connect to their desktop. If, in argument's sake, a user walked away and another user came along, um, the web interface is logged off and waiting for them to start again. Another frequent uh, request I got was to disable the Citrix desktop viewer. It's great for, for Windows and, and or laptops and traveling users, but it doesn't make much sense in a Think Client environment. So Think EOS can now natively disable that Citrix desktop viewer. Um, and we are going to go ahead and save that configuration now. That should be enough. And we're going to go ahead and bind that policy to the browser folder we've just created. So there's our Windows 7 device, as you can see on the screen over here, currently happily sitting away. Uh, and we're going to drag and drop them into the browser tab. We now need to tell the device that he's got a new profile. So from the console, we can send him an update command. The client has received the update command. They can choose to cancel if they wish, but in our case, we want to do it quickly. So we're going to click OK. What we should see now is the client will change color. And instead of showing applications tab, it will load the browser. And as you can see, Think Kiosk is now loading in its silver color. And we are receiving our prompt. Now, as we mentioned earlier, the starter script has not run yet. So from the console over here, we can go ahead and restart that device. And click OK. So the, the, the Think Kiosk device will now shut down and start up running its startup script to install the Citrix receiver. And we should be good to go and test our machines.
again the starter script is running in uh, visibility because we specified that and it's going to go ahead now and install the Citrix receiver Kiosk is now starting up and we should automatically launch into our browser session to a Citrix website. And there we go. Up here we have our choice between web interface or storefront. And we can go ahead and load web interface if we wish. We have a fully integrated browser here. So if the user decides Facebook is the site of the day he wishes to go to, he can go ahead and navigate to that. All of these options can be disabled, uh, locked down or hidden. And I'll show you that in a later video. So hopping back to storefront for a second, we can go ahead now and log in as ourselves. And we'll go ahead and launch our hosted desktop. Thinky S disappears and the Zen desktop hosted app session begins to load. And there we are, we're on our desktop and we're ready to carry on with the day. If for argument's sake we go ahead and disconnect this session or sign out, you'll notice that ThinkKiosk will reappear ready, signed out for the next user. I hope you've enjoyed this demo. I hope it's been informative and uh, check back in the coming days for more videos. Thank you.